Hi, my friend. It's Pat Sloan here for Monday, which is Happy Everything Mondays. Who wants? Who who doesn't want to start Monday with a Happy Everything? <laughs> so this all from my book. We're doing a sampler quilt using all the blocks. Ah, here's the sheet. This one. And today we're hitting. <laughs> we're hitting the easy button. This I need one of these. I need one of these easy buttons. We're hitting this today because what we're going to do is the last uh, section. Here we go. We're doing this part here. So easy peasy and then you can sew the entire top part up. So uh, for the for the quilt. So this whole section you can get all the sashings done. Remember this should be 14 up here this guy not the finished size. Uh, so I have the checkerboard. The check here is my checkerboard. And I chose all the grays and yellows. I'm going to do a little clip here and show you, um, you know, picking those fabrics, picking, picking squares, you know, like, but it's all inspired by two patterns within the book. Two of them have checkerboards, the bucket tote, which I really want to make a second one. This might be something fun to do in the winter, like a blue and white one, and then do a spring one. I need a bunch of these. I love that certain people I've seen, certain people, people I've, people I've seen on the internet have <laughs> made these with, uh, you know, like if it was all red, they would put like red scraps in it, all blue. So I mean, if you have shelving units available that you could put these on and then make them coordinated to the fabric color that's in it, that would be so cool. And then the other checkerboard is the stockings. So I have the checkerboards on the stocking, which has a really fun cuff on it. See the cuff? It's just in the front. See? Neat. Whoops, there's my hands in the way. See the cuff is just in the front. So it's a really fun little technique that you're sort of layering everything and when you turn it inside out, your cuff is, do you just have a front cuff? And the stocking, we also have a striped one. So you can show off those great fabrics. And these are, I like these sort of um, longer skinny stockings because I think they're fun to fill up. They're not too huge and overwhelming, but they just are great for, you know, you just get your hand in it. Unless you've got a big man hand, <laughs> like Greg. That's, he's like, he's not a big guy, but he has big hands. So he's always going, I have man hands. I can't get in there. Open the chip bag bigger. <laughs> That's a constant thing at our house. Open the chip bags bigger. Don't make those little openings. Okay, but I digress. Let's take a look at <laughs> the checkerboard. For this very easy checkerboard, I'm going to stick with just the yellow and the gray. I'm not going to add in any of the aqua for these. I might look to see maybe on the sashing. I don't know. We'll see. But maybe not at all. Because remember, I wanted to read more gray and yellow, the aqua, even that one block that I did, the sparkler block has a lot of aqua. So I think that's going to hold for, for that top half to have enough. Now I grabbed my yellow bin, which is a freaking mess. This is, I mean, I just don't even have this all. I don't have enough room in here. I think that's the problem. I need to use some yellow up or something. <laughs> and I got my gray bin out and then I went like, oh, these are two and a half inch squares. I can use my bins because this is really the only size pre-cut that I cut right now is two and a half. I don't cut anything else. I just make several quilts from these every so often. And so I looked in here and I was like, first I had to look in all the bins twice and realized that there's only one tiny stack of yellow. This is it. Some of that is actually orange in the bottom. That's not even yellow. So it's uh, even less. That's still orange, 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 orange. How much yellow do I have? Okay, this is it. This is all the yellow two and a half inch squares that I own at the moment, which is fine. I only need nine. And if I have to cut some, that's fine. So I just need nine uh, different ones because I don't want any that are the same. And they'll be alternated. Now that has, a couple of these have some red in them. Not sure if I want that much red. We'll just see. I may end up cutting some. Oh, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to get nine. Am I going to have nine? This is getting rough. There's the sailboats. The little, these are just my favorite. I'll link you to this because you can still get this fabric. It is so cute. Okay, so that's all. I need two. I need two square. No, one. I only need one square. And I could repeat since I like those sailboats so much. I could do two of those. 
something like that. We'll see. Maybe I'll just go ahead and cut another square. So this is pathetic. This is all, I know why. I know why this is all I have is because when I did my pineapple quilt, I used most of my yellow and then I haven't cut any up. So there's probably some in there I can cut up some small pieces. Now the other is gray and I have about one stack of gray. So that's pretty good. And what I can do is, you know, these are going to be alternated like so. I'm going to cut a new one. I want them all different. So I will cut, I will cut something out. Let's see. I'm going to put that one up there. All right. So now if I'm doing, because I'm going to need one more yellow, but I'm doing these. Just, I see I have, now these are ones I've already used. And here's a uh, gray. Uh, and there's different shades of gray, of course. Now that's a dark and a dark. I don't really want them that close to each other. I'm going to spread them apart. This is sort of a brownish gray, so I think I'm not going to use that shade of gray. Here's a pinky. Uh, here's one with yellow in it. Once again, see this? See this? How this makes a line? I don't want that. I don't want any kind of whoops, any kind of line going on. I think I, I have to have one more. Maybe I'll take that one out. See what other options I have in here, since there are so many. Whoops, I've got, here's a, something with some yellow in it. Let me move it over there. So now I need two. One, this is going to be the yellow. I'm going to cut one more yellow. Oh, here's some with more, this has some yellow in that. Okay, so and if I wanted to, I've got, I've got a lot more to pick from. Where, there's a brown in there. How'd he get in there? He needs to go somewhere else. There's some other brown. I don't know how those, but there's a whole stack of brown in there. See, this and this, those all have to go to the brown. So somehow they got into this stack. Oh, same here. What, there's a bunch more. All right, but I digress. I have one yellow square to cut and sew that up. So let's just see where this goes over here. It's going to go on the bottom and then there's some sashings. So. I have a picture of this over at my website today, so I'll put all of that up there. Uh, the pattern, I, I did a pattern, even though it's, you know, not a difficult thing, the checkerboard, but you wouldn't know exactly maybe what the size was, so I did that. I thought I'm gonna do a little bonus quilt using that pattern, this rectangle, because it's sort of a rectangle of two nine patches, basically, that are two and a half inch squares, two inch finished. So, I did this, and this looks so much fun. Can you imagine using up all your scraps, maybe doing a color wash across it or a rainbow effect? I just think this would be so much fun. So that is out there. Now I'm gonna do a mail call, and the mail call, oh my goodness, my ma if this was all in my mailbox at once, my mailbox would have been full. It's like, you were all so amazing, but I wanna walk through it so that you know that it arrived, and then stay to the end because I'm gonna tell you about the calendar and some things that will be going on this coming week uh, for when my surgery is going on. So let's take a look. I had a group of lovely cards. Everybody who sent cards, I'm just gonna hold your cards up. They are just so gorgeous. Uh, this is from Shannon. Look at that beautiful sun sunset, sunrise, whichever direction you like to go. Ah, it's gorgeous. Then Cheryl sent me absolutely wonderful, beautiful sentiment. It's like so nice of all of you to be remembering uh, Cindy, my wonderful friend and person who helped me so much. Um, Merle, okay, don't know if I pronounced it right that time, Merle. <laughs> I think I said it wrong and you wrote me a note and I tried to do my, be my best this time, but I couldn't find the note. <laughs> <laughs> so she sent me a birthday card. So sweet. So it's so nice. I can put my birthday cards up and my memory cards. Uh, this is from Sandra. Oh, look at that. Look at that bear. Lucille sent me the sweetest happy face. Happy faces are one of my favorite things. Uh, I just absolutely love them. So precious. Okay. Debbie. Debbie sent me... <laughs> the goofy dog. I love goofy dogs. They're so cute. And yummy Starbucks. Yes, thank you so much. I'm going to definitely, definitely use that. Now we had a few 
other, I have a few other things still. Um, so Karina had this gorgeous, prayer is the ultimate wireless connection. That's, 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 it's true, it's true, right? That's just so true, I love it. Um, and she sent me an amazing bundle of fabric to play with. Who can, you can't go wrong with blue and cream, right? Just these absolutely stunning, beautiful shades. Look at this. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. It is so gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And look at that on top. Just absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm just, this is just so nice of all of you. Um, this, mwah. I have two more. <laughs> two more. Uh, Darlene uh, sent me, look at the patchwork card. Isn't that cute? With sweet note inside uh, from Okay, I have to remember Darlene and Mike. <laughs> and she also sent me Starbucks so I could go get a yummy Starbucks on my break. And then a few other goodies. Now, she is also the lady, Darlene, you sent me, she wrote, reminded me in there that she sent me the German cookies last year. I will never forget that. That was so awesome. But just she, she sent me some chocolates. Look, they smell divine. Whoops. Out went the, look at that. Look at the rose. Look at that. And they smell so amazing. I'm going to hop, going to have to break open those. And then I don't know what's in here. So we're going to open it up. We're going to see what's in here. Oops, I got to take it off of there. Don't know what's in here. Oh, it's a piece of jewelry. Look at this. All prettied up here in a little bag. How sweet. Look at that. It says, Sewing Mends the Soul. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. So beautiful, Darlene. Thank you very, very much. And a little pearl on the end. That is gorgeous. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Mwah. All right, one more box from Elaine. Elaine sent me several cards. One of them is a birthday card. I'm going to open that up, Elaine. Elaine lives where I went to college. We didn't know each other then. <laughs> Ned is quilters on my group. Okay, uh, look at the cake. Look at that, how pretty it is. She sent me some other things here. I'm gonna think this is probably, oh, salvages. Oh no, it's a, what is that? Okay, Elaine, you're like the mystery thing. Oh, look at that, the cozy. That's a cozy to put around my cup. Ah, so perfect, so perfect. And there was a bag I had to, I had to open the box, you know, just to be sure it wasn't a bomb or something, Elaine. And, <laughs> and of course I saw these and, oh look, they got opened up. <laughs> I had to try them immediately. Thank you. <laughs> what's, with a couple little things here. Let's see what's in here. Open, 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 open. <gasps> oh, look. Look, 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 look how precious that is. It's a cardinal. That is so gorgeous, Elaine. Gorgeous. This is like a birthday. I have to tell you, on my birthday, my mom sends me a box. My mom lives in Montana, so she sends me a box. And on my birthday, we get on the phone, I open the presents while I talk to her. And, she, and I do the same on her birthday, which is in January. Oh, look at this. Look at this, ah, it's an owl. Look at the owl. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. I wonder if I can get like one of those squish things and put it on my window. I think I could. She sent a few other goodie things. There's some edges because you know, someday I'm gonna put all those edges together and then I'll make, I'll make a quilt. So these are soaps. I'm not gonna open them right now, but there's two gorgeous soaps. One's an apple. Look at the apple. And they. Oh, they smell divine. Oh and, oh, and there's some more chocolate, you know, because a bag wasn't enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. These things are so precious. You all are amazing. Ah, now this is running long, but I don't care. Uh, <laughs> we're going to keep talking. Don't have too much more. Uh, I want to tell you for, for the uh, December calendar, I also was able to put out there a few of the things that we'll work on next year. So we got the calendar, and then on page two are projects for next year. So I've got them broken down, some of them that are free, some of them I know dates, some of them I, or just be like time frames as I figure out when things will happen. 
And this is a, a free pattern that I, I want to do maybe, I think I said April, so in the spring, do this Hello Birdie. It's a free pattern. And you could download it now if you want. I'll have the link at my website. So I just think it is so darling. And this size is 40 by 40. So it'd be a cute little wall hanging or table topper, or you could just make it bigger. So that is one of the things that we'll do next year. Okay, so for this week, here's the deal. Tomorrow I will have surgery on my nose for basal cell carcinoma. Uh, it is the underneath kind or subdermal, I think somebody told me it's called. So they have to see how deep it is and how big it is. And then the plastic surgeon will fix up whatever hole they make in my nose. And that'll all be tomorrow. Uh, depending on how I feel in the evening, I will try to go out and to the Facebook community and do a post and, you know, say, I'll do some sort of post and say, you know, hi. Uh, I will put something on the community tab here at YouTube. I have pre-taped Wednesday and Friday and Saturday. That way I can take a break. I can take a break. I don't have to film anything until Sunday next week, next Sunday, this coming Sunday. So I'll have that many days of rest without having to figure out getting on the camera. But I will do a post. I will add to the Wednesday post um, a, a little blurb, a picture, tell you how I'm doing, what exactly happened. Um, and who knows, if it wasn't that bad, maybe I'll come on and do another video because if they can get it, if it's very small, then that means there'll be very small, um, you know, things that have to have hold to fix up. And so that'll be really good. So thank you for all your prayers and all your thoughts. Um, it is not a scary procedure. It's just sort of, you know, a little bit icky to get through it. Um, they always turn out fine. I have great people that I've met and talked to in advance. So it's just going to be a long day, particularly if it's a little bit bigger issue. So it'll take longer to, uh, to get rid of it. It'll take longer than to fix up the hole. So anyway, that'll be my day tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, I do not count on me being there for the live chat in the morning, but the video will run like usual so you all can chat amongst yourselves. Uh, you know, I, I doubt I will get up in time for that. Or maybe I will. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I can't sleep. Uh, listen, I'll be there. So, but don't count on me being there. Uh, and then on Friday, which is my birthday, I will say hi in the chat. All right, my friend. This has just been a wonderful day, uh, a wonderful Monday. So much love, uh, and, and Greg and I appreciate it so much. Dennis appreciates so much all the thoughts you have for Cindy. Um, he feels it and is so thankful for all of our friends here um, in, the, in the Facebook community. Okay, you're going to do your checkerboard with the easy button and get that top part all sewn together. So if you're not done any of your sashing yet, you could work on that. Okay. We'll see you on the backside. I love you. Mwah. See you online.